Hey, good morning there, Chris. Yeah, lovely stretch of weather. I mean, we're, we're all enjoying, we're all talking about it, but the, the story is after a day that, that felt like we were in Los Angeles yesterday, today's going to feel more like New York City. Not a bad thing. Just means we got more clouds moving in. It's going to be a little cooler, kind of showers to end the day. I'll tell you, though, it's not a bad scene right now out here on the waterfront, Hoboken. See Midtown just fine. Should be a nice sunrise. I mean, it doesn't feel all that bad either. I mean, the runners we've seen, shorts, T-shirts. I mean, it's comfortable for a walk, too. You've got to walk your pup before work. I'll show you what we've got on our mobile weather lab. It's 52 degrees. So, okay, it's not going to be as warm as it was yesterday. You know, we're not kind of getting to that late May warmth, but it's mild to start. Let me show you what we're in for today, this afternoon, as high temperatures will get you into the low 60s. So average is 63 this time of the year. If we get you to about 61, that's more closer to normal for this time of the year. Compared to the last couple days, it's going to feel like, you know, a little less sizzle out there, but not a bad-looking day. Sun rises this morning, 613. All right, so there's the storm system to the west going to spoil all the fun. It's already causing just a rough morning. Uh, parts of Ohio down to Kentucky. As is often the case, these storms lose their punch as they work their way east, and we think that'll be the case for us. So just some showers by the time we wrap things up. Let's take you through future cast time it out. Still plenty of dry hours through this morning. It's really this afternoon that we got to be concerned. Four o'clock, here it comes. Everything moves west to east, and, you know, it's going to start off very, very light. It's not a heavy rain. You see more yellow yellow uh, or more green, I should say, on your screen than yellow and orange. So that'll take us through about this evening. And then tomorrow, we still got some leftover showers around as well. Because a lot of this falls light, we're not looking at a risk for flooding. I should mention there's no flood alerts, no wind alerts with this with this uh, storm system. So that's a good thing. Just nuisance, kind of inconvenient weather through a good portion of the day tomorrow. Let's bring in John for much more on the forecast and to check in on those weather watchers. Hey, John. And Tony, the weather watch is getting a little cheesy this morning. I hope you're ready for a snack. First off, some numbers, and the numbers are not that bad. It's interesting. I mean, you check in with uh, Tony, BB, and out on the island. They've got as cool a numbers as they're seeing in parts of the Hudson Valley. Ron has 47 Jersey Shore, and he is looking to guy, traffic guy, guy, because he's got to head into the city today. He doesn't like making the trip. I don't know why. All right, so it is National Cheese Ball Day. Thank you, Elena. I'm not making this stuff up. It's also uh, Public Information Telecommunications Safety Officers Week, and we're celebrating essential workers and 911 dispatchers. Thank you for the stress you put up with and all the lives you save. It's Mustang Day. Thank you, and and thank you, Lee Iacocca, for bringing us that car. It's Bat Appreciation Day. Not that kind of bat, but bats. Bats eat bugs. Bats uh, fertilize. Bats also help to pollinate plants. Really appreciate this. Kind of a show game there from Michael and this out on the island. Oh, man, that looked good yesterday. More clouds today. So uh, let's talk about those bats and pollination. You know what? I'm um, uh, up by me. I'm in Verona. We have the bat boxes there. We like bats because bats eat bugs. I'm getting funny looks in the studio. Bats are our friends, so that's why today is Bat Appreciation Day. And bats have been busy, clearly. Boy, uh, pollen way up there. Once again, extreme, extreme. Weed pollen is high. So you're thinking, man, why has it been such a challenging pollen season? Well, let's see. Right now we're in fifth place for warmest springs ever. So those buds are a little confused and coming out early. And also, boy, I tell you, right now we're in third wettest. So we're really climbing up the charts. Now, we're not going to add that much. Tony walked you through the future cast. I just want to show you how the European is handling this. Maybe a quarter of an inch today. So that's not a lot. We'll add about three quarters of an inch tomorrow into Friday morning. So again, you're looking at a one, two, three, four day deal. The European is not adding much on Saturday at all, but we are going to see more rain in the area and definitely dealing with cooler temperatures. The worst of that is going to be Thursday and then Friday into Saturday, shaping up some early showers Saturday, and then we see some better weather Saturday afternoon and Sunday. It's also a banana appreciation day. Is Big fan right? of potassium. <laughs> it has a lot of appeal. Really? Did so. you, speaking of the Iacocca, did you have the uh, the Chrysler LeBaron back in the day? Did you have a LeBaron? With the rich Corinthian <laughs> 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 No, but Iacocca, he developed a Mustang, and that yeah. made it.
his bones at Ford, and then he and Henry II didn't get along, and he saved Chrysler. You got it. Yeah. All right. Grand Cherokee. Just remember sliding in the back seat as you <laughs> turn the corner. K-car.